Brian head coach uh, Chris Merritt, the uh, Bulldogs came off a uh, loss to Brown, 29-25 in the final minutes there uh, this past weekend at home. Uh, they will be at Princeton uh, this week, the first of two straight road games for the team. So, Coach, some thoughts on your squad, and we'll go to some questions. Yeah, you know, we're it, it was like deja vu from 2022. You know, we uh, uh, took the lead twice in the second half after a slow start in the first half to uh, 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 score a, a late touchdown to take a lead with a minute three seconds left to go in the ball game. And, uh, we had some uh, penalties and, and some execution uh, on the final drive that uh, allowed them to take the lead with uh, eight seconds left. And uh, we got to, we got to find a way to finish these things, you know, that uh, uh, last year that uh, we ended up having, I, I, I want to say we've had uh, six of our last eight L's have come with one score ball games. And um, you know, uh, that, that's the difference between being a, a below average team and a good team. And we got to, we have to find a way to get that step. Um, that that is a good point about that. Is there is there a common theme? And you know the things you mentioned, a common theme, or is like each one a little different? Was that in last play with the the penalties and the last position? Was that something exactly you'd seen before, or something a little bit different? And what you know led them to take the lead? Well, no, they they had set it up. They'd run it earlier in the ball game, but they had set up uh, for, for the touchdown there. They had set that up a little bit earlier. Uh, plus, they you know they they did a great job matching up, you know, putting a tight end on, on uh, a defender that's uh five ten. So, you know, they, uh, they did a matchup deal there. Uh, they set it up. Maybe they saw it earlier in the ball game and they just didn't hit it and they went back to it, but uh, uh, it's a good call. Uh, it's a good play. And, and they executed. It. How you don't want to lose any game, but how do you shake those games off then and put that behind you and look to your opponent this week? Well, it's the consistent right right now. It's all the little things. You know, we we really don't have a a ton of blaring uh, schematical errors and and things like that. I think it's it's the little things. It's a missed gap on a blitz here. It's uh, the bust of a route there. Um, you know, uh, it, it's not uh, not throwing the ball in traffic. You know, that that was very uncharacteristic of our quarterback to throw uh, the, the two interceptions, but. Uh, uh, where they came and, and how they came were things that uh, were the little things. And uh, the only thing that we can do at this point is, you know, that's the difference between these ball games. We're, we're, we feel that we're going to play in these ball games and it's going to come down to five or six plays. And it's how we come out and how we fare on those five or six plays a game that determines the outcome. And uh, it's the little things preventing us from getting it done right now. I wanted to ask you uh, about Kenny Dyson and he had uh, two quarterback sacks. So, uh, he's leading the uh, association right now on that. What what, it, what has he done so far this for you this year? Uh, Kenny's exactly where, you know, he's picking up where he left off last year. You know, he continues to get better. Uh, he, uh, you know, teams are going to have to game plan for him on the edge, um, which is helps out everybody else, of course. Um, but, uh, you know, just, just having that ability to, do some things front wise that get you the one-on-one -on -one matchups for a pass rusher with his ability uh, is key. Um, and, and def a good defensive line, a good pass rush is always a defensive back's best friend. And, uh, you know, I, th I think that was something that, uh, uh, you know, why he came back and, and why, uh, you know, the expectations we have for him and why he was able to get the uh, all conference uh, honors that he got last year. And, and looking at some just numbers on the rest of your team, you had some people who also made some plays, got some TFLs for you too. Was there anybody else that stood out from that uh, perspective uh, for you defensively? Uh, yeah, I, I think Robert Crockett, um, one of our corners, continues to get better and better and improve. You know, he was a transfer from Dartmouth. Um, uh, I think that uh, Michael Audie, our, our defensive tackle, uh, is disruptive. And again, when, when you have to – Pay, pay more attention to your edge in protection. That leaves some one-on-one -on -one matchups. I think that Michael's uh, better athletically than most guards uh, in the conference or, or in the team, not, excuse me, not in the conference, but on our, our schedule that we play. And, and that gives us some good matchup uh, inside. I want to say that Kenny also benefited one of his sacks from interior penetration that forced the flush to him. So, uh, but those, those two kids really kind of stand out. They've been playing very well for us. Let's go a little bit on your opponent then, and uh, for the Princeton Open at season last week, they're one and zero now. What uh, what have you seen? 
they're a very good football team. You know, the, one of the top defenses in the country uh, the last couple of years. Um, they are as physical as any team uh, that we'll see on our schedule. Um, you know, they're I, I equate them in a lot of ways. They're they're size and you know they're they're an FBS team. I mean, they're um, they're, they're a national recruiting team for a reason, and uh, we have our hands full. There's no doubt. You know, I, I see other teams on film on our schedule like Rhode Island that's ranked in the top 20 and and uh, you know SEMO uh, that's also uh, a ranked uh, program and I, I look at this team and, and to be honest with you um, you know I think they deserve to be in that conversation too because they're they're that good and I believe this is the first time you all have ever played Princeton is that right so how did, yeah. how did that come about uh well when when you're in a program that decides to to change conferences <laughs> like you do your clothes uh you know you, you every year your your next year's schedule gets blown up and uh when that happens uh you know as we made the move from the nec to uh, uh the big south um we lost uh an opponent uh and we needed a fill-in they needed a game so it just worked out Perfect answer. Well, Coach, appreciate your time this morning. Uh, best of luck against the Tigers, and we'll talk to you again uh, this time next week. All right, Kyle. Take care, bud. Thanks.